Well, the, now we can move on to the Canadian Grand Prix. Oh, okay. By well, I left it up for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> By far and away, one of the most interesting, one of the most exciting tracks of the year. Yeah, it's the quickest. It's only... Like well, Spa is the quickest, but this is second quickest. Yeah, it's, it's one, yeah, it's one of the quickest. It doesn't so need elevation changes. Only really two, three, three heavy braking points. Yeah, no, no big elevation changes. Got a lot of chicanes. It's a good old school circuit with the with the walls right there to catch you. The, the wall of champions. Yeah, the wall of champions. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I don't. Know, I think uh, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of predicting because Canada just just got renewed on the calendar for ten more ten years, years on yeah. condition of the Canadian government investing about uh, forty million dollars into the track on uh, on Bernie Ecclestone's word. They need a Tra they need a track hospital. They need to upgrade the pit facilities, which exactly. they are old. They tried to spice them up with those painted signs last year, but they're old. No, I think I think inside, like the actual garages and and the pits themselves are are kind of you know they're, they're yeah, from they're the seventies. They're from yeah, they're really they? old. They're just concrete. <laughs> they're gonna have to throw up some like wavy glass and stuff up there yeah. to make it fancy. But that um, the track hospital probably gonna repave a few corners, and I think be. Just, just because of Gro uh, sorry, Rosberg cheating on that. I don't know, man. I, I predict them changing that Wall of Champions this year, but we'll see. No, no, no. the Wall of Champions I has to stay. Hunch. If, if I think on the the inside that runoff part, no, if, if if they're gonna put if some they sleeping do, policemen there because of if they do anything to the Wall of Champions, I am going to go there and like like take a dump on it. No, no, <laughs> not the wall itself, but <laughs> <laughs> at that corner on the inside. At that corner on the inside. Which one? Twelve thirteen. On 1213 at the Wall of Champions, mm -hmm. the inside, the runoff area where it's painted green patio stones. Mm -hmm. This is fucked. I predict this looks dangerous. I can tell already. Dude, on the inside of track 13. Four, turn 13? Turn, uh, sorry, on turn 13, the the curb on it is about that high. It's about a foot thick. Like oh, fuck. 10 or 12 inches thick. I think that's going to probably be gone. And sleeping policemen across the inside because of uh, Rosberg cheating this year. Yeah, he's I guess he, he went like down here. That Instead of like going straight. Not that it hasn't been done before, and not that it was the only time it happened that weekend. But well, where's this? I see it just because on. they're spending so much money upgrading the track. That's gonna happen. Well, what was there. your question? Um, like where is it located? Where in Montreal I, I, is it? <laughs> no, it was more or less like, what does it look like, and how could you exploit it? That's like that turn. Like, uh, uh, so if I look oh, up well, uh, yeah. Montreal uh, Grand Prix, uh, the Wall of Champions. Turn thirteen. There you go. I don't know. I guess that's that's some shows you something here. No, no, it? that's not it. No. Is it called Wall of Champions? Just uh, right, Wall of Champions. You'll you'll then you'll you should you should you should, you should see it. Because like, how do you, how would you exploit that sort of a turn? Like if we go you back, you can see it right there. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, we had it. The bottom, bottom right. One over, no, no, left two, two, one more left, bottom, bottom row. Yeah, that's it. This guy here? Yeah. yeah. So you see the inside there. The wall is on the left there. You come you come across there almost like 250 kilometers an hour, diagonal across this chicane. But on the inside there, that green painted shit is diamond-shaped patio stones like you would have in your 80s backyard. <laughs> It's that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's, it's my it's house was built in the eighties, so and you can see <laughs> I understand that. You see that white hump on the inside of the corner there? This guy here? Yeah, that's that's a lot bigger than it looks. Yeah, it's oh, way really? bigger than that. It's almost a foot high. Like but somewhere oh between God. maybe eight, ten, twelve inches. I can't remember. Couldn't exactly, you just it's, it's go high. right across it? Is that what this guy did? Then? That that's what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, that's what Danny's talking about. I'm shit. just thinking because it hasn't been changed in forever. Like you can see that building on the inside is old as shit. Yeah. Gonna Must hold up in time itself. This, is, this is where the journalists are put. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, like right at death's door, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, they're safe on the inside. But I think they're going to put, they call these are things they, though? sleeping policemen. They're kind of like speed bumps, but they're really small. Okay. So they don't damage the cars. But they, uh. make, they hurt your ass if you drive over it in a Formula One car. I think yeah. so. It makes you slow I down assume that like the zigzag. Formula One car's like seat is not comfortable. Like it just No, there's nothing. It's just a piece of uh, like, carbon fiber. Yeah, like oh, The asphalt is like, Two inches 
below your ass cheek. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, ew. Ow. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, this th- this this wall here, that is the world champion. And um, if you look at all, all the pictures that you see when you look up world champions, Canada or whatever, is of people crashing. That's because w- that's what it's known for. Uh-huh. So even even some of the most experienced drivers, the champions, have been have known to crash into that wall because it, it's a treacherous corner. It's a it's a it's a famous yeah. F one corner. And I'm glad that it's in the Canadian Grand Prix. That's awesome. Because, you know. Uh, so, it maybe a little off topic, but, like, I remember when I first moved to Toronto, and actually I met you guys. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I remember it's either the planes or there's there's some sort of car. Oh, no, they do indie racing. Indie yeah. racing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. In Toronto? Yeah, in yeah. Toronto. Yeah, that's the indie race. Yeah. That's... Does that anything to do with that? No. Uh, no. No, no. Uh, the, 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 the series don't overlap, but if... If you win, if you're a champion of um, of, of the IndyCart racing, uh, of the series, yep. um, you can accumulate enough points to race in Formula 1, I guess. Is this, oh, is it is this like the... 30, no? 40. 40, okay. You get 40 for champion. Is this like the F1 coin thing again? Oh, no, no, no. This is like... So t- oh, it's a, diffe- it's a different one. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a different one. Indies are North I was trying to make a joke and it didn't pan out. Indies are mostly North American series that... Uh, no, it, is, it is just North American, pretty much. I Except for uh, maybe they they race somewhere else. I think uh, one or two South America. But anyways, there yeah. like we said before, there's two chassis. One I think is made by Caterham, one by someone else, and all the engines are the same. They're all powered by Honda. It's a lot cheaper series. There's no power steering. There's none of all these electronics. Oh shit. So you're muscling these cars. They got I think slightly bigger tires, but uh, yeah, none of all this electronic stuff. It's a lot cheaper. It's more like pure racing. Everyone's got the same car. It's a lot louder. I went uh, last summer to the practice down at Exhibition. They, yep. had, they had an open day on the Friday. It was pretty awesome to see. And then we've been uh, three, four years ago, I think, I went with yeah, you. Yeah, something like that. I went another year with uh, my buddy Kyle. But we went down on the lakeshore there in Toronto and climbed up a, a pine tree. We went like 40, 50 feet up in the <laughs> tree. Yeah. You could see. like It was pretty sweet. You could see. Oh, it. that's yeah. awesome. No, those were the best seats in the house. You and we had to pay zero. You see them coming <laughs> down. <laughs> I don't know if you know the track. The, like, the main straight is uh, down... Lakeshore, past the exhibition. Ah, okay. And uh, we we see them. Like, you see them like come around the hairpin through the Prince's Gate, and yep. then fly down there. So from the tree, you, see, you see them going from like sixty <coughs> up to three hundred, and then you hear these, the, you're the these boom, boom, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these cars sound different because like, I, I guess that yeah. the the gearboxes are different than Formula One, so okay. you can hear the car. Oh, you like, still fucking hear them. Well, you, you, you can hear the car. Yeah, the clutch. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was the coolest thing when when they're gearing down to like approach the corner. They're like they're. Oh yeah. my god! You feel that noise in your chest where the they where they gear down. But yeah, they just slam in their brakes and then up the hill. That's it was a good cool. spot to sit though. It, it it is a cool it is a cool thing, but it it it's no formula. It hells in comparison to F one. In terms of it's what the, the whole spectacle, the whole, the whole the thing, cars, mm-hmm. everything. What the fuck would we be talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, nothing, there's nothing to talk about. Everything's the same. Yeah, we'll talk about the guys a little bit, but who cares really? Yeah. Most of them watch that. Uh,